Hi, and welcome everyone to our YouTube channel called My Project Ideas. And in this particular program, we will be looking at how we can use Java to create a, a, a code that will change from one currency to another. And in, and in this case, we will specifically look at how we can change from Indian rupees to US dollars and vice versa. We will use Swing for, for this entire application. So that is the reason why you see uh, we import the various Swing components in the first three lines of code here. Now we move on to the main class, which is called our it's called converter currency class. And inside this class, we will have the main function that will basically convert from INR to USD and vice versa. Now we move on to our function called converter. And inside this function, we'll have the entire GUI of the code. Here, for example, if we start looking at this, we, we create a new J frame called F and we label the frame as converter. So you can think of the J frame as something as like a window, for example, where you put in, you place in your various components of the GUI. And we, we start our code off by creating this J frame so that we can add the various components that will come on later. So if you have a look at the various components of this of the, of the Swing GUI that we will implement, we have the labels called L1 and L2. We have two text fields called T1 and T2. And we have three buttons called B1, B2, and B3. So that's so the three buttons are so B1 will be used to convert from USD to INR, B2 will be uh, will be used to convert from INR to USD, and B3 will be used as a as a close button. So whenever you want to exit the application, you can just press the close button and the application will will exit. So now now if we start naming the different labels, so we label L1 as rupees, and then we set the various dimensions of the label. We set L2, and then we can set the various length, breadth, and height of the, of the label. Finally, we move on to our text fields. We have our text fields, and then we have a default value of zero. So whenever we create the text field, the, the text field will show default value of zero, but then you can edit this, obviously, since it's a text field. You have another text field, again, showing zero. So one is for INR, one is for USD. And then we have, then we set the bounds of the text field here. Finally, moving on to the button, we have one button, as I'd mentioned for INR, we have one button for dollars, and we have the other button for close, which will basically close from the application. Now, now we want to functionalize our button. So in order to functionalize a button, we need to add an action listener event or an action event E. So in this, so inside this function, we will basically be functionalizing our button. So the first thing that we'll do is we will try to extract whatever is given in the text field. So for example, if you input in five INR, for example, so we want to, so since you will be inputting a string, we, we cannot do any maths to the string. So we need to convert it to double. So that's the reason why we have this double statement here, which will take your five INR and convert it to a double. And then we will do our uh, math here. So one one dollars is equivalent to seventy five point two five rupees. So this is the conversion rate that we will be using here. Once we are once we are done, we will again convert this t one back to a string, and we will just print it out. So we do this for INR to USD. We do this to USD from INR. So we basically functionalize the two buttons that we want to use, and we finally come to our close button where. We have system.exit, so whenever we uh, press the close button, so this will exit, the application will exit, and we will come out of the application. So in this part here, we just simply add all of the, all of the different components that we created. So we created several text fields, we created several labels, and we created three buttons here. And we add all of them to the JFrame, as I'd mentioned before, because the JFrame is kind of like a window where you have all the different components placed in whatever way that you have set in your bounds earlier. And we set set it to true for so so here we can sell, see the different components by the set visible method here. And finally we just have our main method here where we simply call the function that will convert from INR to USD and vice versa. So this is the function that we call here. So let me try and run this program if I can. So first I'll compile it. I'll close it. And let me try to run it here. Okay. Yeah, I have my code here. 
as you can see, so this is the basic GUI interface that we have created. We have three buttons here called INR dollars and close. We have two text, uh, we have two labels, so, sorry, rupees and dollars. And we have two different text fields where we can enter any, any numbers. So here, for example, if I want to convert 15 rupees to dollars, I input 15 here and I press INR and I see the value of dollars here to be $0.199. If I increase it a bit more, if I convert 500 rupees to dollars, let's see. So we get $6.64. Now let's see if I want to convert from dollars to rupees, if that works or not. So we, a random number, $50, let's see, we press dollars. That turns out to be 3762.5 rupees. And now let's check if the close button also works. If we press close, we should exit from the application. Yes, and that is what we get. So again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel called My Project Ideas. And we hope to see you soon in our next video.